Hey, it's Heather from Raising Memories, and today I want to give you a closer look at the Lime Life Planner. Um, this is the Mary design, one with all the hearts on it. Um, you can get your name put on the front in these colorful letters, and it comes with this quote on the front. On the back, it's all hearts. The size is seven by nine inches, and it is coil bound. Very sturdy coil on here, I'm happy with this. And the um, planners each come with one of these little elastic things to go around it to hold it all together. Um, you can't choose your color or design and they just surprise you with it. Um, and then it comes with these tabs on here for each month. They're very sturdy as well. Um, the whole divider is that color. And then if you choose to add an add-on on the end, I did, I added the meal planner add-on. It comes with this divider and it says meals. So you can find that add-on section at the back. Um, so now I will just give you a bit of a look at what it's like inside. Oh, and before I do that, let me show you just quickly. The cover is like this laminated paper and it's very stiff and sturdy as well. So I'm, uh, I think this will stand up very well. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to give you a look inside. Okay, so taking a look inside of the Merry Weekly Planner by Lime Life. So they all come with this little plastic pocket that you can keep things in. It'd be great if you're really a planner enthusiast and you like to keep stickers or whatever you want to just keep on hand with your planner. Um, this is a cute little... Um, sort of title page page in here. Don't let yesterday use up too much of today. I love the little messages that they have in their little quotes throughout the book. Um, here are special dates. Um, so you know for each year when different occasions happen. Um, they have, let's see, three, yeah, three different um, year at a glance calendars here. I love the colorful layouts. That's one of my favorite things about this planner, the designs. Um, another cute quote. They have a couple of pages of logins and passwords, just the front and the back here. Um, so you can keep track of those there. I'm not sure if I'll use that just in case I left my planner somewhere, then whoever found it would have all my passwords. Um, but if I use it as an at-home planner, I might go ahead and fill those in because that's not going to be a problem. Um, then there's a couple of pages here for goals, setting goals and putting dates. Um, and then here, I mean, you could use this for whatever you want, more goals, or it could be um, writing down different things that you're planning to do in the month. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to use this planner. I may end up using it um, kind of as a, a blog planner. And if I do that, um, this might be a good pay place to plan out posts that I want to or to post or topics that I want to cover each month. Then there is a contacts page. I'll get it a little closer here for you. If you want to keep track of people that you know and their birthdays and addresses and phone numbers and stuff. So now we come to the months. So I've already been using August, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'll skip ahead till October so you can see it what it looks like just fresh. Um, each one has a colored tab at the front of the month. It's white on the back and then the first page is always just a, a spot to take notes. This is the what the page looks like if you choose the Mary layout. And then each month's layout looks like this and depending on the month's color this little section at the top with the days of the week will be a different color. So it's just a basic calendar a little spot for notes and then your weekly oh you got more notes here and then your weekly layouts I already got some notes in there your weekly layouts look like this again this color will change depending on the month color and what I like about this layout this is the you can choose several different layouts for the way your weeks are gonna look um, this one is the F design and I like that there's space here to write down um, appointments and things that you're expecting to do on that day that you have to do at certain times and then there's a spot with lines where you can kind of keep track of like a to-do list for the day and if you you looked at my blog post then you saw 
um, their paper pad that I've been using to plan my days. It's kind of a similar idea for me that works for me when I'm planning my days to kind of have like a to-do list to keep track of. So I really like that. So then at the end of the month, oops, you get your last week page. Oops. And then you have another notes page and you start the next month. So each month is the same, just varying by color. And then at the very end here, after your last month, oh, you can also start by whichever month you'd like. So mine ends with, let's see, July. Because I started in August. So at the end of July, there's a tab for notes. And you get an extra section with notes at the back that is quite large, which I love because I love to make notes. And I love to have one section where in, one section in one book that I know is a place where I make notes. And if I don't do that, I'll have several notebooks on the go and I will never remember where I made lists. So that's cool. Okay, and then this is the meal planning add-on that you can add to your planner. Um, it has this, <laughs> I've started a very <laughs> small list here. You can make a list of your favorites, like meals that your family really likes, and then there's a spot to plan your meals for the week. So each day of the week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and there are quite a few of these. There are not enough for every single week of the year, but that's okay, because I probably, let's be honest, won't use it every week. But I'm hoping this will help me kind of get more organized. And then there's a section for a grocery list where you can keep track each day of the week what you're planning to make and what you're gonna need. Um, and then if you wanna keep track of your budget and what you're spending, there's a spot for that as well. Yep, yeah, that's it. And this is the back of the planner. You got your little back page again, little Lime Life uh, logo at the back. And that is kind of a quick overview of what the Lime Life weekly planners look like. You can also order monthly planners that are, as far as I understand, basically the same as this, but without the week pages. Um, so definitely go take a look at their website. You can see a lot of different options, different types of planners. Um, you got a lot of flexibility in choosing your weekly layouts if you go the weekly route. And then there are also a bunch of paper pads and other accessories and things that you can order that will help you with planning. So check out this the blog post that goes with this video and you'll see there is a giveaway there as well as a little more information about the paper pad that I've been using. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you get an idea of what the Lime Life planners are like and we'll see you in the next one.